Chinese real estate giant Evergrande has suspended the trading of its shares on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Hey, and thanks for tuning in. Holly Shields here for Kalkine Media. The debt lending company said the trading suspension was pending the release of inside information without elaborating further. Evergrande has also been ordered to demolish 39 properties under construction in Hainan, though the reason has not been disclosed. According to local media reports, the demolition order was issued because of illegal construction and environmental violations and should be carried out within 10 business days. In a WeChat post on Monday, Evergrande said it had been rectifying environmental issues since 2017. The company told homeowners of the Ocean Flower Island project that it had spent 13 billion US dollars over the past six years to build over 60,000 homes, and the demolition order is unlikely to affect the rest of the development. Although, as most suspect, it'll further lower home buyers' confidence in the company. The Ocean Flower Island project is one of Evergrande's flagship resort development projects, comprising hotels, convention centers, and theme parks. The cash strapped real estate giant is struggling to repay debts worth more than 300 billion US dollars including 20 billion in offshore bonds, on which it defaulted last month. Evergrande, which was once China's top-selling developer, is now struggling to raise cash from asset and share sales to repay creditors and suppliers. So to combat their issues, the company has set up a risk management committee as the list of unpaid creditors and suppliers continues to grow. This comes following their push back on plans to repay investors in their wealth management products stating that each one could expect to receive 8,000 yuan or just over 1,200 US per month in principal payment for three months irrespective of the maturity date. Earlier, Evergrande had agreed to pay 10% of the investment amount without mention of the specific figures by the end of the month when the product matures. And last week, construction activity resumed on 91.7% of their national projects, which were halted following the developers' default on payment to suppliers and contractors. Now the trip to speed, check out some of our other videos to stay up to date. This has been Hull Shields for Calkine Media.